Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and friends in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to see how we can control our DC motor with the help of our fingers. We are going to use here our CV zone open CV hand tracking modules for controlling the DC motor backward and forward action. Okay. So let me first show you demo then we are going to see the connectivity then I am going to share with you code okay but first let me show you the demo okay so this is what our Raspbian Buster okay the legacy version latest version and if I start the Tony Python editor as you can see this is what the script and I need to start the code then it will start the USB web camera as you can see the camera is started and it's already tracked my hands that's why the motor is started so let me make frame like this way and in shell as you can see right now is it says there is no hands and b stop and f stop b stop and s stop is basically uh, for stopping our motor for action okay now if i show five hands as you can see it's now five fingers are basically up okay so if i make one finger up as you can see motor is started and in shell as you can see it's printed going forwards means if i show means if one finger is up the motor action is basically going forward now if i show three fingers the b stop and f stop means the motor will stop okay as you can see the motor is stopped now if i show two fingers up going backwards as you can see here let me again now it's again tracking okay now it's good and inside the shell as you can see the action is basically going backwards okay and motor actually is also the backward okay now again one finger up it's now forward now if i show again two finger up as you can see it's backward the two finger is up if i show three finger up is stop is stop now if i show one finger up okay it's going forward forward now if i now there is no hands stop again direct one going forward two fingers up no hands dc motor stop okay so this is just a demo now we are going to see all these things step by step okay so friends as i mentioned l29 a10 motor driver board as you can see iron 1 iron 2 and iron 3 so iron 1 which we want to connect with the raspberry pi 4 gpio pin number 24 okay gpio pin number 24 then the iron 2 which we want to connect with raspberry pi 4 gpio pin number 23 then iron 3 iron 3 which we want to connect with the raspberry pi 4 gpio pin number 25 okay so iron 1 gpio 24 iron 2 gpio 23 and iron 3 gpio 25 okay then for power right now i have used a 7.9 adapter as you can see this is what the adapter but of course you can use the battery also okay as you can see this is what the battery you can use the battery also uh, of course it has a plus and minus so same for the adapter it has also plus and minus so plus the adapter or we can see the power plus which we want to connect with this first slot as you can see this one this one okay so if you see here the adapter has basically two wires as i mentioned the one with white and black and another one is only black so white and black is basically our plus and the black is our minus okay so the live connection which we want to connect with the first slot as you can see the first slot this one as you can see here the first slot and the ground which we want to connect with the second slot okay so same for the battery the red one which we want to connect with the first slot and the black color okay black color which is the ground which we want to connect with the second slot okay 
so this is the connectivity for powering the board and then same time the raspberry pi 4 ground pin which also we want to connect with the second slot as you can see i have connect the both ground wires this one is the adapter okay this one is the adapter ground which i have connected with the second slot also the jumper cable as you can see the jumper cable this is the jumper cable for raspberry pi 4 ground which also i have connect in same ground slot as you can see here inside that we have two cables this is for the adapter and this and this is for raspberry pi 4 ground pin okay then as you can see here this these two slots which we want to connect with the dc motor as you can see i have connect with the dc motor these two slots okay with the help of jumper cables okay so this is how you can connect the board the l29 10 dc motor driver board with the raspberry pi 4 okay also friends the jumper cable which we need for this project we need here a male to female jumper cable and the another one is female to female as you can see this one is female to female and this one is male to female jumper cable as you can see okay so this type of jumper cables which we want to use for connecting our l29 a10 board with our raspberry pi 4 okay the male to male and male to female so friends we are now on our raspberry buster legacy desktop okay so first we need to install open cv media vibe cv zone tensor flow light on raspberry buster legacy version i have already created the videos how to install all these modules on raspberry buster legacy i will mention the videos link watch videos and install open cv tensor flow light media pipe and cv zone on raspberry buster legacy then we need here usb web camera okay i have connect the usb web camera with the raspberry buster legacy okay then for today's session i have create here the repository and the repository name is open cv dc motor i will mention the repository link inside the description box then simply open the link okay inside the browser then go to the code copy link from here and as we always do we need to simply clone the repository so command is what sudo git clone and paste the link and just hit enter it will clone the repository okay so we have clone our repository the repository name is opencv dc motor so first we need to change the owner so sudo ch own space ch own space hyphen capital r pi is the user pi is the group pi is user and pi is the group and then the repository name which is the opencv dc motor just hit enter now we successfully change the owner now let me show you first here we need to go inside the opencv dc motor if i run the ls command here as you can see i have share the raspberry pi 4 gpio image also i have shared the l29 a10 board pins and connectivity image also the connection text file so first what we want to do we want to uh, send or we want to move the connection text file on our desktop so simply sudo mv connections and slash home slash uh, slash home slash pi and the slash desktop just hit enter as you can see i have successfully moved the text file on the desktop so command is what sudo space mv space connection space slash home slash pi and slash desktop and just hit enter it will move the text file on our desktop so if i open with text editor as you can see i have mentioned here how you can connect the pins with raspberry pi 4 so gpio pin number 24 of our raspberry pi 4 the l29 a10 driver connect with input 1 then gpio pin number 23 connect with l29 at uh, and driver board input 2 and the, and gpio pin 25 of our raspberry pi 4 connect with input 3 of l29 a10 driver which i have already explained all these things okay then i have mentioned the ground pin and their numbers okay you can choose one of them okay and then you can simply connect the ground pin with l29 a10 ground pin okay so as i already mentioned 
then the battery the power adapter the battery plus first slot of our l29 a10 driver and battery minus second slot okay that's it so this will help you to connect l29 a10 board with raspberry pi 4 okay then if you go in file manager and where we clone our repository as you can see opens with dc motor and inside that image viewer this is what our raspberry pi 4 gpio pins okay and this is what our l29 a10 board as you can see okay so this will also help you to connect with the board and the raspberry pi 4 okay as you can see okay so i have mentioned all these things okay it will really help you to create the connections simple now simply go to the programming tony python id go to the file open pi and our folder which is the open cv okay as you can see open cv dc motor and inside that we have if you go here python files all files as you can see we have all the files so we need here the moto.py okay so moto.py is basically our basic configuration file okay it will create the basic action the forward action the backward action and the stop action so if i start the code as you can see it will start motor action in forward then the backwards then stop and code will be stop okay as you can see the code is stop so this is just a basic configuration file now our main file which is handmoto.py if i open the code and inside that as you can see i have mentioned all our basic modules cv2 rpi.gpio or gpio then from time import sleep this is what our cv zone hand tracking module okay so if i scroll down here the same way motor 1a the all the gpio pins which we connect with the l29 n board okay then the setup function the forward function then backwards function then forward stop then backward stop okay then the destroy gpio dot cleanup then this is what our base basic configuration for capturing the frame the live frame cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture okay then if all is good we can see our hand is tracked okay so if there is hands if there is hands we need to call our setup function okay our setup function our setup function okay so if there is hands if there is hands first we need to call the setup function then hands one is equal to hands zero index then fingers one dot detector dot fingers up hands one this is how we need to count the fingers okay so fingers one then count function fingers dot count then it will basically count the one okay if i mention here a print and fingers one okay so it will give you better idea okay so let me start the code then we will get the better idea so as you can see right now it says there is no hands the b stop and f stops now the motor is stopped now if i show hands as you can see here in list we have five fingers up means five one okay five one so five fingers up if i show one finger up as you can see four zero and one finger is up okay if i show two finger up as you can see three zero and two finger is up means there is two one okay now if i show three finger up as you can see the uh, inside the list we can see here there is three one and two zero okay so this is the action okay this is the action so we need to use the count is basically our condition so if count is equal to one means the one finger up the action is forward then elif the count two means the two finger is up action will be backwards then elif count through means the three finger is up action will be backward stop and the forward stop else means if there is no hands if there is no hands as you can see if there is no hands print no hands 
it will call the setup function then b stop and the f stop okay so this is how you can control the dc motor with your fingers with the help of open cv and cv zone i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye